Oh, every time I see you, man. Huh? Every time I see you, you're messing around. Lean in, bro. I'm not messing around. Doing what? The gym. Jack of all trades right here, man. You can't own a gym and just be like, I'm gonna clean my own shit. You I'm gotta pick up after yourself, so I'm, I gotta re-rack your weights. Brad of all trades. Brad of all trades. Not Jack. Who's Jack? So, um, some guy. Actually, I grew up with a guy, one of my best friends growing up. His name was Jack. His name was Jack Forbes. Really? He lived right across the street from me. And and it's crazy because he was always- watching the video? I, I don't know. I don't think he watched the video. Well, be like anyway, shout out to Jack Forbes, friend uh, from Pacifica. So anyways, in school, he was always the tallest kid. Sort of guy, like, he was a kid who matured early, who was like, Everyone else is like, I don't even know how tall we were when we were kids, but little, right? And, but he was tall. He was like, I don't know, 5'8", five, 5'11", five, some crazy. And I remember going to bed every night and be like, damn, I just want to be tall. I want to be as tall as Jack, like, because he was tall and he was cool. I think I was pretty cool, too. A lot of people thought I was an ass because I made, like, I made, like, really sarcastic jokes like I do now. Oh. Um, so I'm sorry to those people who thought I was an asshole if you thought I was. Uh, I was a little shithead kid, I learned, though. But anyways, the point is... I remember going to sleep every night and being like, damn, I want to be as tall as Jack. I want to be as tall as Jack. And then, you know, now fast forward in my life, I think I'm tall. I think I'm taller than him now. Yeah? Yeah. You think so? Now. But now when I was a kid. Oh. Uh, no, I, now for sure. Yeah. You think More so? the same height. He, yeah, he's tall. His whole family's tall. No, not maybe, bro. I've, I've, I've seen him since. Oh, you have? Yeah. yeah. Long time ago, years ago. I don't think he got taller though, because oh. you know he's my age. Okay. Like randomly, unless he put some stuff in his shoes. Maybe. Like these fitness guys do at the fitness conventions. That's what I mean. So you do? Yeah. You really five I'm six. I'm a fitness guy. You really five yeah, six. Yeah, dude. Look, watch, watch when I take my shoe off. All right. Damn, dude. Yeah, it's I crazy. My... Yeah, I put it back on. All right. <laughs> Anyways, um, I'm gonna show you guys. Did you say what? Three things or four things? What do you think? Three, four. It's up to you, Kev. You're the you're the you're the brains behind this operation. I'm just like a talking bobblehead. Everyone likes to make fun of. Wait, wait. Uh, there you go. Tell me what to do, Cam. No, no, that arm. Here. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Wait. There you go. This side. Yeah. There you go. Okay. Um. So, it's your choice, man. All right. Four things, bro. We're gonna show them four things. Four things. When you come to the zoo. When you come to the zoo. Yep. You gotta try. You gotta try. Yeah. Because these are things that are like. Probably very unique to the to the gym. Yeah, the, you're not gonna have any other gyms. No, nah, you won't. And if you do, then you're probably in another one of one of the, my gyms. So, we, but we haven't opened yet, so you don't. Yeah. Anyways, unless you're watching this video like a year later from now, what if they yeah. went back? You know? Yeah. Then then that's a possibility. Or like two years, and we have more locations. Yeah. Yeah. And they're just finding the channel now. Yeah, this is really weird because this lives on the internet like forever. It Anyways, does, yeah. we're gonna get this going. I love you guys. I appreciate the support. Let's do this. I'm gonna finish this side, then we're gonna get to it. All right. What's going on, guys? Bradley Martin here. And today, today, I'm gonna show you four exercises that you need to do when you're here. Like you gotta do when you come here. You visit the gym. Maybe post about it. Maybe you film a video. Yeah. I'll retweet it if you tweet it to me. If you post it on the gram, the I'll regram it on the zoo gram. So if you if you gram it, you gram it. No one says it's, it's IG, bro. It's the gram, the gram. Yeah. Anyways, if you post it, make a little compilation video or something. If you're here already, you, sh you shoot videos, post it. I'll re put it on the gram for the zoo culture. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna show you what I got first, and then you guys show me what you got. So let's do it. What's the first thing. Uh, the first, oh look, we're gonna do it right now, but the very first thing is this. We gotta do this first. What is it? Yeah, we gotta get some donuts first. Oh, come on, man, get to the tape on here, damn it. Sorry, yum yum. Oh, which one? Which one should I get? What, what's your favorite? My favorite is this one. Okay, I won't get that one. I'll let you, which one should I get? This just looks so colorful. You really gonna do this right now? Yeah, and then I'm gonna do the set. Wait, 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 wait. Don't. All right, save some. This could be good for a thumbnail, like all this shit. Donuts and set holes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we need to do that. Well, we gotta do it before he puts them over there and they all eat them. Whatever, it's fine. All right. Use that one. Don't do what? Look at him. He's like, don't do it. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Don't do it. You gotta give me one. Go get one. Go get one. So you gonna do this in the pre-workout? Uh huh. All right. So what are we? Tell me what we're doing. So like, why is he wearing this, right? Why are you wearing that? So sled drag. Okay. okay. It's like a two for one. It's a mean? two for. So this. A two for. Sled drag. Okay. We made it look badass with the chain. We have like we have just a like a. What kind of rope would that be considered? 
I don't know. Like a Regular a rope. cloth rope. Yeah. That you can put in, but we have a tank that looks extra. It's yep. cool. Uh, it's also heavier. But sled drag, like chest chest yeah. strap, so it's like I can run with it. All right, work on your speed. Um, but also we're gonna do sled push at the same time. Oh wow. So two for two for one. Right. So one of the things basically when you come to the gym, if you ever come to the gym, something you should really try, so you really have fun. It's the strongman type training. So like the sled push is like the like because people they they're always like this. They're coming here and they'll be like, oh, I don't got a lot of cardio. It's, it's like fall. that's how I need. That's what I do to lose fat. Is you just do that, right? That's yeah. all you do. You don't you don't worry about eating or anything. You just get on a stairmaster. Wrong. Eh, wrong. Okay. This is what you do to lose fat. This kind of stuff. Prowler, is like prowler, sled. Metabolic. Can you, can you think? Oh, you want to show them that? Yo, you want to do that one too? Yeah. You might do that after. That's that's a farmer walks. Anyways. Metabolic conditioning, I guess is what the scientists call this. We're like really smart fitness people, like metabolic conditioning. It's like, so doing stuff that, it's not necessarily like long duration cardio. It seems you can have a lot more fun doing and get the most out, like as far as burning fat and all that cool stuff goes. But in reality is like, you gotta have a strict diet, you gotta have a good diet, but <clears throat> it's just plain fun. He says like, strict diet, good diet. <clears throat> <laughs> well, this is, I'm not saying I'm the picture perfect example. Again, I'm not the scientist. Uh, I'm more like a weekend warrior, you know? <laughs> Do it on the weekends. It's fun. Yeah. Weekdays, I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna eat a donut. I'm gonna have some in and out. I'm enjoying my life. But that's just the thing about just balancing life. But anyways, first exercise, prowler push. You guys can do both of these independent. We're gonna do it two for one. So I call it a twofer. Um, just back and forth. And as I go down, I'll probably count one down, and then I'll, I'll add some weight and then keep going. So right, let's go. Come on. Come on, bro. Donut and mouth and everything. Oh, you're going a little fast. What the heck? Way too easy. It's because of the donut. Oh. That was easier than I thought it was going to be. All right. What if I just walked around the gym with this all day? You should. No, because it'll, it'll run into people. It feels like a tail. I feel heavy like I have tail. a tail. Really heavy tail. All right, let's put more weight on it. Yeah. The gym. What? Besides everyone who's in here, but well, that's kind of part of it. That's why I think that. I've left my cell phone on the floor, my headphones on the floor, and I swear, man, I've lost oh, at least yeah. six pairs of headphones, Bluetooth, because you leave them at 24 and somebody just swipes them. Okay. I can like leave myself on the floor and people don't swipe it. That's cool. I think it's really cool. Yeah. I'm not saying come here and leave your shit on the floor. No, because it might get stolen. Because it might get stolen, but I, I just think the people, right? Everyone just seems more considerate. And I'm, obviously, I'm grateful for that because I opened this up. I didn't like right away. People kind of picked that up, and it's it's really cool to see. So, shout out to the Zoo Squad. Really, is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, you're putting more. Yeah, I mean it's like donuts. More yeah. icing, more flavor, more better. True. Proper English. All right. All right. What about the sled? Yeah, we're gonna put it on it too. Yeah. Yeah, all the way. Really? Yeah. yeah. All the way. All right, is that good or one more? No, that's good. All right. Oh, shit. Is that is that a no, that was so poetic. Motion, okay. No, go ahead, say it again. That was poetic. It's powerlifting in motion, bro. It's what, not, what? Because he was like, that looks like cardio. <laughs> and he was like, it's powerlifting in motion. That's exactly right. Damn, you're a legend for that, bro. That was legendary. I feel like, he, I feel like he's a poet now. Yeah. Damn. Some legendary shit going on in here. Come on, bro. I feel like you gotta start strong. Let's go. Otherwise, slow it down. My head's up, guys. Let's go. Easy. Come on. Come on, keep going. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Easy. Easy. Easy, easy. Yeah. How's that? We need way more weight than that, bro. Yeah? Too easy. All right. We'll keep going up. All right. It's like, I feel like I got a little coat on. <sighs> You're going to take all the weights just for your prowler? Well, not just for the prowler. Over the sled, too. Yeah. Sled and the prowler. And dude, don't get enough weights to do incline. Oh, look at the tons of weights here. I know, I'm just Gang of weights. You said two. Yeah, probably probably two more, right? What do you think? I don't know. How much can you put on here and like push? Let's find out. True story. 
I don't think I've seen anyone push this much. No? No. I think the most I've seen someone push is just four. And they went pretty fast, you know? So you can do five and then do that. I, I need one good. more in here, right? No, no, you're good. Ten plates. Hey! Put one more plate on them. Uno, uno more. Uno mas. Yep. Uno mas. Boom. All right. Yeah. When we get some water, we'll do this. Yeah. Hey, look. Can you see it? Watch, look. It's heavy. Heavy. It's heavy. Can you do this? I don't know. All right, we'll see. I really don't know. Huh? Let's go. All right. Uh, I think the initial is the boom, and then keep it going. Yeah, and that's the thing with it. So the hardest part is getting it going. As long as you can get it moving yeah. and keep your feet moving, you're good. It's like a what do they get? It's like a it's like a football drill. Yeah, yeah. Like you know, they had the pads that are stationary. You push, yeah. and you just drive. Yeah. Like linemen drills and shit. So, you, as you can see, like linemen are really big and strong. Therefore, you should do this. Yeah. Come here and do it. Let's get it. Come on. <laughs> No, you got it. Easy. Come on. Just go and don't stop. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Come on. Keep going. Keep going. Go, go. You got it. Easy. Easy. Keep going. Come on. Come on. Keep going. Go, go, go. 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 Yeah. There you go. I need better shoes. That was a little harder, huh? Yeah, it was a lot harder. You need cleats too, for me. Cleats, yeah. Damn, look how it like it dug the floor. Oh yeah, shit. Even... Oh, I felt good. That was harder, huh? I feel like I can get out of a jet. Yeah. I'm take this thing off. <sighs> the heck is that? What? It's the world, bro. Bowling ball? I'm tricep pressing the world. That's what it feels like. No, it's like a. So this you can use this attachment a couple different ways. You can attach to like the rig over there and like oh, trying to pull ups on it. It feels cool to do press downs on this because it's like, it's like a, I mean, sort of like the size of a basketball. Yeah. Or is it? Yeah, it's about about size of a basketball. Guarantee you're 24 hour. Design. Well, for sure they don't have this. <laughs> you have... probably never even seen this. <laughs> and it's like it's cool grip for triceps. You can like press it. It's almost like practice. You know, like. Huh? For, for, for jumping. Yeah, for jumping. Um, so. Come here, try this. The coolest thing about this is it, it's, I don't know, it's just, it feels fucking different. It feels good. It's a different like, bit. it feels really good. And not to mention all the hundred other And my, Look, my yeah. elbows all hurt and I can still do it. Yeah, so we'll talk about that in a second. I'm gonna show them some. My elbows hurt, but this still doesn't, it doesn't bother my extensor so much. I feel like. You know why I think that is? Why? Because usually you use like a, a bar and all the pressures in one area where this is like you're dispersing all of the whole hand. hand. Yeah. Anyways, it's cool as hell. So but check this out. Check all this stuff out. Like we have I think literally every, like every attachment. Like what is it? Look at this thing. Look how big this thing is. What, what a, you see this shit? Mag grip. This, this got, is one of my favorites. We right got here. everything, dude. Fat grip. Oh, for triceps, bro. This right here, look. You attach it, we got like carabiners for it. And you press it down like this. It, so it has almost like it fits in your hand. Crazy. Literally. Literally. I mean, like, actually, it's in my hand. But it feels good when you're doing press downs with it. Yeah. Amazing. Just another one. Another variation. Like, it's the grip work stuff. But imagine this. Attached and you pulling down. But you got to hold it right here, so it's almost like forearm work. grip work cool stuff here. Yeah, a ton of variations for it. Pull sure. downs. I'm going to enjoy it. like a dog fanatic. bone. Screenshot that. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Let me like, get a... like it was a dog? You know? Okay. Anyways, um, all the different kind of attachments, everything, ropes. We even got some in the in the thing. I, I don't know if I have the key for that. Hold on, I'm gonna show it to him. Come on, we'll show it to him. You got just like every kind of attachment for the the cable machines. What? This one right here. Look. What? Right here, right here. Look at this thing. Oh wow. You know what this does? It spins. So see, it spins. Okay. Right. So you can do like it's almost like it's just like direct grip work. Stationary like uh, isometric stuff in your upper back and you just go like this. You know what that's for? Do you guys know what this is for? So what am I working right now? What am I working? Your forearms. Okay, what's that for? Grip chain. No. It's for quicker turnover time on porno. Oh. Okay. Quicker turnover time. Sure. That's what that's for. So anyways, that's, well, why, that's, that's why it's like in there and oh. not out there because it's like... Just in case. You take it to the bathroom. Yeah. Bathroom? 
take it to you the take that to the bathroom, bro? You're weird. I mean, what? You're weird. Did you hear him? I mean, not home, bro. bro, you take it to at home? You take it to the bathroom at home? Mason? It's a weirdo. Yo, you see that guy. That guy. Look out for that guy. That guy right there. He's actually like one of the strongest people I know. Anyways, let's keep going. He's also weird as hell, obviously. As you can tell now, look at him. I think he's staring. Look at him. Stay. Look at him. What is he doing? That looks sexy. Look how sexy all this like. Anyways, so all the attachments in the world, in the world, like literally, we'll like find one I don't have. Go ahead, cause find it. Guess what's gonna happen? Comment below. Tell me which one it is. And guess what's gonna happen? You order it. You gonna see that shit next week? Do you have one of those? Oh, it's right there. Hey, how's oh. your? Come on. You said find one. I'm gonna keep going. You guys gotta come try this. It feels amazing. You can also, like I said, attach it to a rig and do pull-ups on it. It's just, it's fun, man. We're here having fun. And look, I did the whole stack. Show them. Show them. Yeah. I'm really strong. No, I think that's really heavy, that's why. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. No, What are you doing? Huh? Damn, your arm looks big. Does it? What are you doing? What do you mean? I'm gonna go. Last exercise, bro. What? Selfies. Oh, for the gram. The... For the Snapchat. The this is for the Snapchat. Um, Hold on, I gotta look. Hi, I'm shooting a YouTube video. Please send help. Send help. Kevin is making me do cross fit. <laughs> See that? Yeah. Yeah. Go follow my Snapchat if you guys don't follow it. What's Snapchat? Uh, it's just my name, Bradley Martin. Oh. Yeah. So. It's kind of, it's, is that a cop out exercise? No. Taking selfies? But look, we made this gym. Honestly, I want you guys to know this. If you didn't already know this, I hope you did know. The reason why I have this gym is because of all you guys have supported, have shown love over the years, right? Squad all, all fucking day. Okay, now, because of that, we created a place that, like, you guys can come, have fun, have amazing workouts, meet a bunch of cool people, use every piece of equipment in the world. If we don't got it, we're gonna order it. Like, have fun with all that. But also, because the way that, like, everything I've kind of created on the internet and all the stuff you guys seen has been through social media, through photos, through photography, through videos, through cinematography. Obviously those are like the same things. I just get two different adjectives for both, two different ways to describe so you're it. fancy now. I'm fancy now. Now that, I'm, anyways, the point is like, this gym I created for us. Obviously for me to make content, for you to come here, shoot videos, shoot YouTube videos, have fun, take selfies. We set up like make literally- Make real games. Like make real games, but you're, you're, just, you're just always fucking me up, Kev. Ah! No, but really, I'm not really that mad, but. We put skylights in this shit on purpose. Like we put one here, we put one there on purpose so it looks extra. So you look pretty. So, so you look like the lights so you can get good angles and No, but seriously, like we put cool mirrors in here, we put good We did I did all this stuff on purpose so that you guys come here in this environment, feels good, the energy feels good, the people are cool, the exercises are dope, like you can get good selfies, you can get good YouTube videos, you can have fun, um, film a video with me, work out with me, whatever, right? So that's what this is. I love it. And I love the fact that I've been in here enough. I'm gonna, I just noticed this right now. I've been here enough filming content, enough, like at least the last week or so, and people, look at everybody. People know what it is, you know? People are working hard, like, everybody. Like, working hard. Too bad to squat too close. But people know what it is, like, other people coming in on film. As long as you guys stay respectful, be respectful to the people around you. Like, you don't want to stick your camera in someone else's face. Yeah. We're not like those crappy YouTubers who try and, like, fuck with other people to, like, get good content. It's just like, have fun. I fuck with you, buddy. You, you well, that's, but that's what you do. That's who you are. Oh, uh, sure. No, I'm talking about YouTubers who, like, their only content is to, like, try and go mess with other people. Because they don't have any real content. Which, I guess, whatever. It's content, content, doesn't matter. The point is, have fun, be respectful, but, like, I'm inviting you guys personally to come try these exercises that I'm doing today. Shoot some selfies, take some photos. Like, it's not 24 hour fitness. I'm not gonna kick you out. Like, unless you're like an asshole and you like stick a camera in someone's face and you do it multiple times and it's, and it's like, and I'm gonna kick Kevin out. No, but it's just about it's just about that love and that common respect. And you guys have, like, I don't know. I just I just want to say thank you. And I'm just fucking. I'm happy to get back. I'm happy that I can get back, honestly, in a way that like. We all win, and you know, it's like to save a to save a child's life. You know, like Kevin. About? I'm talking about you, bro. Like all of this, it all really comes down to us saving Kevin. <laughs> That's what it, I mean. Late, I, I'm sorry you had to hear about it this way. Too late. But it's too late. Too late. So you already already on the CrossFit side. I did. So already on the dark side. I'm already. Dang, it's that's what it's all about. We try to create this environment so Kevin could come back to the light, and you know, yeah, when are you gonna come to the light, bro? When well, are you, you gonna? You created that side, so 
I'm yeah, here. I'm halfway. That was like that was to lure you in. Like, I'm in. Like, so when are you gonna start putting on some size? Bro? Everyone wants to know. Like when is Kev gonna get jacked? Uh, People comment this all the time, and I'm trying to like slowly coerce you, like trick you into doing it. You know you can't, you can't, you can bring a horse to the water, but you can't make a drink. So what's the word, man? When are you gonna do this? Well, when are you gonna get jacked? I want, want Kool Aid. So come out. All right, bro. Well, water. That's how you make Kool Aid. You see water and sugar. Okay. And colored sugar. So give me some colored sugar. All right, bro. Let's go. All right, let's give go. some right now. All right. So. <laughs> Alright, so leg press, right? Looks like a leg press. Can be a leg press. Now, this is what's really cool about it. And I guarantee your gym does not have this. Guarantee. Unless, like, you have you have a really dope gym somewhere near you and they have this. But Probably that's not. very rare. Very, very rare. Oh, there's like one gym. Where? Know how to do, right? Where? One I don't even know. I don't think so. Your gym doesn't have this. Okay, so I want to show this out. Hold on real quick so they see it. So this is basically like a, a, a piece obviously that interlocks the two, you tighten it up so it stays tight. What you can do, you loosen this, boom, boom. Pull this bad boy out. All right, now you got two leg presses for the yeah. you and the homie. For the two for the price of one, no. It's really, really not What's for the, the price of one. What? Fucking big ass flies is laying on your head. Really? You're good, you're good. Still there? No, it flew up. Anyways, um, now this exercise is really, really cool. And I like to use it just to warm up. But it basically turns this leg press into unilateral movement. Okay? So I'll show it to you. You be more athletic. Yeah. Kev, you should do a lot of it then. Yeah. Yeah. Because when, when you challenge me, bro. Lost. You're just gonna catch L's, bro. Alright, bro. Let's go. You'll be like the Cleveland Cav Cavaliers in Game Five. Whatever. Sorry, dog. I wanted LeBron. I'm, I'm, no, I'm, I wanted LeBron to win, but I know it's back. I was like, I'm from the Bay, so I should want the Warriors to win. But whatever. Steph Curry with the shot. I'm bandwagon now. Anyways, so it went from six, like one piece, which is another really cool thing. I'm gonna say what well before I begin. The, another cool thing about this big leg press is that you can do like crazy variations, like crazy sumo, sumo, like like real sumo. Like almost preparation for a deadlift movement, right? Where you really learn how to just like use the heels, but now it's obviously two pieces. But even if it was interlocked, like just there's so much space for different variations, okay? Now I'll show you what it looks like unilaterally. Unilaterally, just like one side at a time, right? So. You know? You should try to do it where you're like going up and down at the same time. What, like this? Yeah, and then, yeah. How does that feel? Is that hard? Yeah, it's hard as fuck. <laughs> because it's hard to time the one down. In balance. Of... Ah. I feel like I'm running. You are. I'm not, though. <laughs> so, come here, try it, have fun. Take some photos, take some video. Kill shit, uh, lift shit. Ugh, don't trip when you get out of that. But yeah, I just want to say thank you. Like I said earlier, this is this is a dream come true to me. Be able to even do this, to have this facility, to like work out with all you guys. Like just seeing this every single day reminds me of one thing, one thing only. What? How dope this lighting is. So dope. No, not the lighting. Is that whatever the fuck you want to do with your life, you guys can do it. I talked to someone here earlier today. 17 years old. He's 17 years old. He said, "When I, I want to do what you're doing, I want to own a gym." When I was 17 years old, I wanted to do the same thing. And I told you guys before, I had no idea where I was going. I had no way. I didn't know how I was going to get there. But I knew that it was for me, and I knew that I was willing to put in the work to get it. So understand that whatever you want in your life, it's real. It's possible. No one handed me a check for $300,000 to buy the equipment to buy the gym. No one handed me work ethic to get shit done. No one handed me like. What's that word? What's the, the proper skills of proper problem solving to figure out what needs to be done, what shouldn't be done, how to like this phone call, that phone call. No one hands you that. Like you learn that over time. So to that 17 year old kid, to anyone out there, 17, 30, 25, it doesn't matter, 15. If you want something bad enough, just start working towards it. Start now, start today and just go. Like fuck age, fuck all this stuff. Like life is short. 
start now. It doesn't matter where, where you've been, what you've done, like, you could change it up. Every single day you could change it up. Whatever it is, you could change your direction. Like, I'm standing here right now, okay? I'm gonna finish this video. I can go out that door, I can go out this door. The point, I'm just trying to be like, just show you like a real physical thing, like, you're like, duh, Brad, we know that. But that's like life. Like, you could pivot, you can make a movement to a different direction. You're like, you know what, I'm, I don't like doing this anymore, I wanna do that, how do I get there? That's obviously not as easy as just taking a step, but if you, if you bring it all the way back down to where it really starts, that's what it is. It's making a step in here and being like, okay, I wanna make that move. How do I start doing that? How could I get closer there? And then it's figuring it out and it's working on it and it's, it's failing, it's not getting closer, and realizing you're not getting closer and then trying something else and then getting closer and then realizing it's working and then, and then realizing it stops working and then you find another way and then, it, and then you get closer and then it stops working. And it, that's all life is. There's no one straight shot, there's no one right way. Don't get caught up in trying to figure that out. Just get, up, get caught up in like failing and then succeeding, failing and then succeeding. That's all life is. So keep going, I love you guys, I appreciate all the support. From day one, like, you guys made this possible. If it wasn't for you guys buying merch, watching the videos, doing all this stuff, this shit would not be here. So, I built this for you guys. Obviously, I built this for me so I can keep filming dope content so people are gonna tell me not to drop shit, not to scream, not to jump real high, not to jump out of pools. They don't want you to jump out of pools. I wanna jump out of pools. But anyways, I love you guys. I'm out. Whatever you want in your life, go after it. Fuck the haters, fuck the naysayers. They're always doing this. They talk, they talk, they talk, they talk. It doesn't matter because at the end of the day, if you focus on what other people are saying about you and you want to try and change them, well, you're not focusing on being a better person, being a better you. Like, if you're worrying about what someone else is doing, you got to understand, you're not focused on you. You're not focused on you becoming better, on you moving towards your goals because no one else is going to move towards your goals for you. You have to do that. So let all the nonsense go. Let it go. It's always going to be there. Just keep going. Keep going forward. I'm out. I love you guys.